Judy Woodworth, and I'm here with my quilt, Avatar Revisited. It's basically a, a whole cloth quilt done on black cotton sateen, and I've used the Filtec wide thread. Um, it's a trilobal polyester that's really pretty. And I've done a lot of thread painting on it to give you, uh, change the value and the depth of the quilt. And people always think it's kind of, uh, piece but it's really not. It's, um, it was just a design that was transferred to the black cotton sateen and then uh, I started at the top and did all the major motifs and came all the way through and after I had quilted that so a stable then I went in and did the um, backfill with the different colors and I did change the thread as I moved down the machine the second time. Um, I kind of pre-drew the design ahead of time and enlarged it. And with the light box, you can transfer it to the black uh, fabric. And um, problems I had, the black cotton sateen kind of shifts on you. It moves a little bit because it's really slick and satiny. So I, it just took a long time to get it marked and make sure it wasn't moving on me and all my lines were straight. And then so after it was all quilted and I... I used a Fonz and Porter mechanical chalk pencil to mark it all. After it was all quilted, I take a damp um, microfiber washcloth and wipe off the chalk markings. But a few places I had used yellow, oh my gosh, because I changed my design slightly and it would not come off. And here it was done. I thought the quilt was going to be ruined. and So I got some... Um, uh, center pole and put it right on the wash rag and it took me like six times to wash and wash and wash till that yellow chalk pencil came off so be careful about that yellow <laughs> the white came off beautifully and it's, I'm really excited it's going to be in the quilt museum now and it's always been a dream of mine so just thrilling and I was so surprised. I got a call from Meredith from AQS saying, you really need to be at the quilt show, Judy, on Tuesday at 5.30 and I go, okay, I know I need to come promote my books and things, but I have to go teach next week and I'm going to be just too tired. And she goes, no, Judy, you don't understand. You need to be at the quilt show. <laughs> so I thought, okay, she wants me to promote my book. And so when I was announced that I won the prize, the best long arm quilting uh, prize, I just, I started crying. I just couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I was so excited. So it, it was really fun to do. This is the back of the quilt, and ideally they should look exactly the same. You need to have your tension set really good, and of course I use the same thread in the top and in the bobbin, so, um, and then the trick is to get it, you know, your tension just perfect in the middle. And I also use two battings. I use the Legacy 8020 and a Legacy Wool on top, and that gives it the stability for all the thread painting that went, in, went on with it. This quilt was actually um, inspired by the movie Avatar, and so in my mind, my creative mind, I know what different parts of it are, but most people just think it's a really pretty colorful quilt. <laughs> Show us something. Okay, Mark, this is the tree um, in the center of the village, and um, this represents where the miners were. And they used to sleep in these hammocks in the branches. And of course, this is the bamboo fence. And there were always lots of butterflies floating around. So uh, I was just so inspired by the movie. I don't know what happened with the plot. I was just looking at all the beautiful colored flowers and things. And so that was my inspiration. I have a book coming out uh, in the fall with the American Coulter Society about how to make original patterns and designs. And I cut a tally about how to make a whole cloth quilt like this but it's really fun and very creative and makes you feel really good when you're done.